Oh yeah, there was an update for Modern Warfare 2, huh? All right, I guess I'll reinstall this piece of junk. 15 years of Call of Duty addiction, and this is where it gets me. All right, how's it going, everybody? We're back here with some Modern Warfare 2. I'm sure most of you Call of Duty guys already know, but they dropped Season 3 Reloaded last week, which honestly, it's been out so long at this point, I was considering not even making a video. But a lot's actually been happening as far as Call of Duty and like behind the scenes and stuff, so I figured why not make a video and talk about it. As far as gameplay goes, we're gonna be checking out the new hatchery map here. I honestly haven't heard anything about it. I'm sure it's fine. To be honest with you guys, most of the maps in this game are a blur at this point. Also, before we get started here, make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, I haven't played Call of Duty since the last time I uploaded a video, so I would expect this gameplay to be solidly mediocre at best. What the fuck? What, one guy lives through it? I'm sure. Also, by the way, it's been literally two minutes and I'm already bored. So anyway, the uh, big news that everybody's talking about right now, which to be honest is probably not so much big news anymore, is that uh, next year's game has officially been, I don't know, leaked, confirmed, leak confirmed, whatever the hell you want to call it. I, what? I like shot him in the riot shield and then I shot him in the ass. I'm so confused. Yeah, next year's game has more or less been confirmed to be uh, Modern Warfare 3, apparently. It's just gonna be a straight up sequel to this game, which in fairness, probably surprised absolutely nobody. I mean, everybody remembers the original prediction for this game, which was it was gonna be a two year game or whatever. And then year two was gonna be some kind of paid expansion. And now instead of a paid expansion, they're just gonna make it into a full game. Yeah, real funny Activision. So yeah, next year's game is gonna be Modern Warfare 3. Honestly, I'm skeptical. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna buy it because I'm a fucking idiot and that's what I do. But that doesn't mean you have to. Honestly, be smarter with your money than me. Or if you're one of my new subscribers that came from my variety content, don't buy this fucking game at all. It's terrible. I'm only playing it because I have a 15 year addiction and I can't possibly stop. But anyway, I mean, most speculators are pretty much saying what... Why are you looking there? My entire team is behind you. But yeah, obviously we've known we were getting a full release for a while at this point. We just didn't really know what it was gonna be called. And to be honest, this only really confirms what I had assumed, which is, well, it doesn't really confirm, I guess, but let's be honest, this is what it was gonna be. Which is that this game is just gonna be whatever the paid DLC was going to be initially, just packaged as a full game. Dude, why are they all of a sudden everywhere? I like run around this map seven times, can't find a single person. And then I just walk into their whole team and they've surrounded me. I don't understand. But yeah, I mean, Activision basically confirmed this when they said that, you know, the reason that this full release of a game came about was allegedly, there was just so much content for this paid DLC release that they figured it would be better to just package it as a full game instead of making it a DLC. Which I mean, let's be honest, that's probably complete bullshit. The reality is probably that they saw the performance of Modern Warfare 2, saw that the player numbers are literally dropping on the daily and figured that they probably would not be able to market anything resembling DLC for this fucking game. So the best thing to do is to just go back to the COD cycle and release whatever they had as a standalone game on the same engine. What? I understand it's a revolver, man, but come on. Now, like I said, am I gonna buy next year's game? Probably, because I'm a fucking idiot. But that doesn't mean you should. In fact, I would advise all of you to do what I'm not going to do, which is wait until the game comes out to buy it. And no, I don't mean the beta. This game was considerably better in the beta than it is right now. As far as like the movement and just the way it feels to play and stuff. I hate this game so unbelievably much, it's not even funny. But yeah, I would let the full game come out, see what they do to it after the beta, see what they nerf, see what they tweak, see how the skill-based matchmaking feels. And then if the game comes out in a couple weeks and it looks pretty good to you or it looks like something you might have fun with, then by all means, go buy it. But at this point, I mean, that's really the only way you can figure out whether you're gonna like these games or not. Even the betas at this point are not a good indication. I mean, we can go all the way back to Black Ops Cold War and like, I remember in both the alpha and even the beta, after they nerfed the sniping in the beta, I still thought it was really fun, which is why why I pre-ordered the game and bought it, but then for whatever reason, they decided to just nerf it into the ground anyway. Now that being said, could the game be great? I mean, after all, it's entirely possible that Sledgehammer learns from Infinity Ward's mistakes. Sledgehammer is considerably better at listening to the community than Infinity Ward is, and this is like historically proven. So for all we know, Sledgehammer has been carefully gathering feedback all year long, and their game is going to be everything we hoped that this game would be, and then some. That is entirely possible. However, that being said, I am 100% reserving judgment until the game comes out at this point. And the main 
reason is because of how Activision marketed this game. Because for those of you who don't remember, Activision spent more than half of Vanguard's life cycle talking up how far ahead of schedule this game was. As far as development was concerned, they said Modern Warfare 2 is so far ahead of schedule, they had an alpha build ready in January or whatever. That date might not be 100% correct, but you guys remember what I'm talking about. They kept going on and on about how polished this game was gonna be, how much support it was gonna get, and look where we are now. That's not to say I don't believe in Sledgehammer. I like Sledgehammer a lot. But once again, I am reserving judgment until all the facts come out, especially considering the fact that Modern Warfare 3 was probably decided upon after they realized that Modern Warfare 2 would not be sustainable for two years. So it's probably gonna be rushed as fuck. Obviously they already have an engine to work with, what with this game, but I mean, if the game plays and feels exactly the way this one does, I really don't see it being successful. What? What? I'm so confused, dude. Fuck off, dude. So anyway, that's all the news as far as uh, next year's game is concerned. The next thing I wanted to talk about is kind of like a funny little thing. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen this as far as the Call of Duty folks go, but uh, there was an interview or I guess like a Q&A or whatever that was done with Infinity Ward's devs recently. And uh, according to them, apparently back in the original COD 4 shipment, meaning like the map that we all know and love, one of the fan favorite maps of all time, was included in COD 4 as a mistake. That's right, apparently the map was not supposed to be in the Call of Duty multiplayer rotation at all back in the day. The game was supposed to be like a test map, I guess, for the uh, devs, and then I guess it was supposed to be like a split screen map or whatever. I really thought that that second guy was a teammate, but whatever. But yeah, apparently Shipman was supposed to be some kind of split screen map, I guess. Like, you know, just for local multiplayer or whatever. Some of you guys who are younger probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but believe it or not, back in the day, that used to be a big thing. Good old split screen multiplayer accusing your buddy of screen cheating. Ah, oh, I miss those days. But yeah, apparently that's what Shipman was supposed to be. They just kind of left it in the game by accident and the rest is history. And of course, it's got the Call of Duty community immediately to memeing, talking about how a mistake from over 10 years ago is better than any decision that the devs have made in the last, you know, four years or whatever. And uh, whether or not that's true, it's still pretty funny. But anyway, getting back to some more like uh, serious news, I guess, the devs also talked about uh, what their plans were as far as the rest of the year and content is concerned. And apparently for the rest of the year, meaning from now until Modern Warfare 3 drops, they only have three maps in the pipeline. Now, uh, forgive me for being a little bit presumptuous or maybe entitled here, but doesn't that sound a little low? Three maps between now and, I mean, the game's slated to release in what, late October? So that's five months from now and the next five months we're getting three maps i mean sure that's kind of on par as far as the uh, content release schedule for the year so far has been but i was under the impression that you know, the reason we had to wait so long for content was that they were working for more stuff, you know, for later in the year. I mean, after all, we still don't technically have any Modern Warfare 2 maps in this game. Think about that. The game is literally called Modern Warfare 2, and with the exception of, uh, what is that one map called? Lighthouse? With the exception of the Lighthouse map, we don't have a single map that comes from Modern Warfare 2 from back in 2009. None of them. I don't know, man. It's just so bizarre, you know? Like, the maps are in Warzone. They obviously have them. You know, Terminal and High Rise. Like, why haven't they released them? And everybody's saying, oh, they're saving them for Modern Warfare 3, to which I would say, that's fucking bullshit, dude. If you're saving those maps just so you have, you know, something to justify charging us $70 for, that is complete and utter bullshit. But anyway, getting back to these uh, three maps that are coming for the rest of the year, apparently as far as the design of these three maps, they also said that they're kind of more catered as far as like ranked and competitive play, as opposed to more casual like 6v6 gameplay, like they're more tailored to that slower sort of competitive gameplay style that you would see in ranked. I'll be honest, under normal circumstances, I would absolutely criticize them for this, but I mean, given the state of the game and the fact that like, at this point, the majority of the audience that actually cares about casual content is probably gone. Like obviously Ranked has its whole, you know, community and it's actually doing quite well. Like Ranked has definitely been keeping this game alive. And uh, from what I've seen, it's actually been doing pretty well in Warzone too, which is cool. Like this is a good thing. I'm not complaining. But uh, aside from them, the only other people really playing this game from what I've seen are like casual players that are so casual, they really don't give a shit like what kind of content we're even getting, you know? Meaning like, 
like whether or not new content is catered to them, they are literally so casual that they do not care. So most of the players that fall into my bracket where it's like, okay, you know, we're decent at the game, but we're not gonna like try hard as far as ranked is concerned. I think most players that are like me are probably gone at this point. And I'm sure the devs know that. So honestly, you can't really fault them for catering the last bit of content towards the uh, more serious audience as opposed to players like me. And uh, on that note, I think I will wrap this video up here. That's basically all the news I wanted to get through. I kind of wanted to talk about all the Overwatch stuff that's going on, but I might save that for its own video. Maybe I'll finally make an Overwatch video for the like three of you that are still waiting for one. But regardless, Call of Duty is in a very interesting spot at the moment. I know I just accused Activision of like cash cowing for Modern Warfare 3 and this game is kind of just DLC with a full price tag on it or whatever. But at the same time, I hope Activision realizes that the entire franchise might be riding on this game. Because Modern Warfare 2 is supposed to be the start of like Call of Duty 2.0 or whatever the hell they wanted to call it, right? And uh, this game has not gone over well at all as far as multiplayer is concerned. And Warzone hasn't been received much better. So honestly, I really hope Sledgehammer is able to knock it out of the park. As much as I complain about Call of Duty, the last thing I want to see is this franchise to die. I might complain incessantly, but I do still love it. And yeah, as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.